somebody else. It's a whole different view of viewing it, a whole different way of viewing it. Well, guess what happened? Uh, our first group of surrogates went into depression and had serious cases of the postpartum blues. Yeah, sure. And we went, okay, yeah. there goes my practice. Absolutely true that uh, becoming a surrogate, having a child for someone, carrying a child, uh, is going to put a woman into serious depression. There it was. And then the psychologist we were dealing with really started investigating this. We had enough women going through this so we could look at numbers. And here was the reason for the depression. These women were pioneering in a field that had never been done. And they were the center of attention and they knew they were doing something important. And then when they had the baby, they were done. They're now back to their normal lives. So here they had an extraordinary achievement that they knew they were doing in helping people. I mean, that's no small stuff, creating a family. And then back they go. And they were depressed about back they go. That's what we found out. You know, for example, uh, the which is basically an urban myth, bullies uh, have no self-esteem. Bullies are actually cowards. Well, you, a coward. Well, there have been studies out of Scandinavia that said bullies have plenty of self-esteem. They just like bully, uh, beating up people. And much the same this study shows about women undergoing abortion. There is no negative to women undergoing abortion. Now, there's uh, a lot of negative about carrying a baby to term, medical uh, negativity, a lot of complications, but that's generally childbirth. Childbirth is a lot more dangerous than uh, having an abortion. And so the argument is, oh, you carry a baby to term, and it's a lot more complicated, and you have uh, uh, medical issues involved in having the child that you wouldn't have with abortion. Of course, that's the case. And that is one of uh, the reasons, or one of the uh, premises that the pro-choice uh, people say. Abortion is far safer. Well, yeah! That's a given abortion is far safer than going to term uh, with a baby. Thank you. 
second class, I know he's not kidding, but I don't know what else to say. And he's, I just stared at him. And he stopped saying one more time. Well, Nicole and Angela, she's a psychologist who examined her, said yesterday uh, in the testimony that uh, she was suffering from PTSD caused by intimate partner violence. Workers have installed a tall fence around the U.S. Supreme Court building. ABC's Justin Finch says it was put up last night. This new fence with his lazy eyebrows is turning on Capitol Hill. It's the kind of tall, non-feelable barriers we saw go up after the January 6th riot. Justice Samuel Alito canceled uh, a public appearance last night. He wrote the draft opinion suggesting the court was going to overturn Roe vs. Wade. Uh, that was released on Tuesday. An eight-month-old baby in Georgia has died because the father left her in a hot car for hours. The official says the dad went into a police station on Tuesday to pick up property from another case. He was arrested for probation violations. Melville Police Detective Jeff Manley says at no point did the guy ever mention his daughter. I'm absolutely astounded that somebody would leave an eight month old car, uh, park away from my building, and walk up here, and no one else thought I was in the car. Officials say the man's mother arrived at the parking lot nearly seven hours later and found the girl's body. The dad has been charged with second degree of murder. The taxi drives in Malibu after we check out sports with Wayne. The Dodgers sent the Giants home with a 9-1 route and a San Francisco tumble to fourth place in the NL West. Max Murphy did his part with the final dinger of the night. He won. Rod Hall is a bad drunk up. And in back, he goes, well, he's up. He watches go up. And the Dodgers run along. And it's 9-1. More importantly for the Dodgers, Murphy from trying to come out of the slot. The boys in blue are off today. The Angels' Jared Walsh was a slugging sensation against the Red Sox. He supplied the game tying RBI to take the game into a 10th inning and then came back with a three-run shot to lead the Halos to a 10-5 victory. That series concludes today at 10.30 with Shohei Otani starting. The LA Kings lost in two of their NHL playoff series against the Oilers to score 6 nothing. The series stands at one game each. I'm Wayne Lesnick, KFI Sports. Get into my house, which of course you never will, and uh, you wanted a glass of water. I take it directly from the sink uh, because that's effectively bottled water, certainly that quality. I have a light source whole house water filtration system at home. And since it uh, filters water from the outside, every tap, tap every faucet produces this highly filtered, delicious, obviously safe water. It removes chlorine, chloramine, harsh chemicals, problems caused by hard water, uh, as I Said you can literally drink it from the faucet, bottled water, it disappears. Your bathing, cleaning, your cooking, uh, your doing dishes, clothes, and what is effectively bottled quality water. And there's no maintenance of any kind ever. Once installed, you're done. You can get a system for as little as $86 per month on approval of credit. Call 800 803 2696. 800 803 2696. With lightsourcewater.com, light source water, taste and feel the difference. Sunny today, highs in the mid 70s at the beaches to the lower 80s, the metro LA and Orange County, the lower 80s to the lower 90s to the valleys, the high desert, and the Inland Empire. Let's see what's going on in Malibu. Oh, boy, hold on now. Listen up, this is the kind of drive that you can get trapped on once you commit to it. It's Malibu, Las Virginia's County, is closed in between Civic Center and Pyoma. It's both directions. Southbound Las Vegas, it's just really getting away from Los Angeles. Again, it, it's just a tough one. You have to make a U-turn go back. It is just awful. Uh, the, the ways around, although I can't see the Malibu side, it's just covered with clouds, and I'm sure it's back up as well. But Canyon, the back of Canyon, in between the DGH and the one one they'll work for you. East 101, I know you don't have to use it, but at least it's up on it. It's a cloud from the west of the bank, it's a little bit The San Bernardino, those problems continue there on the southbound 215 at Route 66 before you get to the Denny. It's been caught over on two left, it's on four over the third bridge, it's a problem there. And the other points of the compass, the L14, coming through Santa Clarita, at Plaza Clarita, the center divider problem there is really throwing things out of the tank. And then once you get into the San Fernando Valley, boy, 405 is showing us mostly here. Roscoe Boulevard, onto the 101, stop and stop again, all ends up. Just found ASI in the sky. Did you know fishing operators can save $27 to $90 of water per day? Even tiny ones can be two water issues. Conserving water starts with a few simple water saving options at home and in your yard. 
Like a duck in the front, and all these visualizations can be water only where it needs. We can all do our part to conserve water. Visit SaveOurWater.com for more water saving tips. Save water, save California. Uh, 
The as of uh, February, the company has 30 more, a uh, 30 percent more concrete planned uh, than pre-pandemic levels. Uh, membership uh, at Planet Fitness uh, surpassed pre-pandemic levels, and this is when 25 percent of the nation's gyms closed down during the pandemic. Maybe that's one of the reasons for fewer gyms out there. And then go to the airport today, take a flight. Can you notice how uh, the cost of flights has just exploded because of the demand? Also because of shortage of flights and fewer flights, etc. But it's the demand that really is the driver here. And then you have companies that took a big hit and still have yet to recover and maybe won't. Peloton. I mean, how many people are now out there selling uh, machines, uh, stationary bikes? You're going to the gym, you're going to the stationary bike. Gyms are up. A bike down? Yes. Netflix, first time in 10 years, lost subscribers. So now they're looking at other models. How about charging you far less for watching Netflix with commercials? Can you imagine the, the thought of Netflix with commercials is an estimate. Uh, I mean, that's the end of the world. When you consider when we all went to Netflix and it was the first ones out. And what was it about? No commercials. And customers or companies are now considering things that, uh, right, prior to this were unthinkable. Uh, Peloton. But insanely expensive bikes, lowering their prices across the board. That's what companies are doing, the ones that are logical that have been hit big, although companies like Corus have got the Clorox have gone the other way, and we'll hear that. So uh, what we have is uh, people, consumers all over the country, and this is universal, we've now returned to pre-pandemic levels, and we beat those levels. College football games. Man, they're going like crazy. Uh, a lot of universities dropped mass requirements late last year, boom. Now yeah, that started the surge. Here's one, we don't go to movies anymore, do we? I don't go to movies anymore. I used to be a once, twice a week movie goer a few years ago. And then what happened to me? Netflix? And then who win? And then you had, uh, I subscribed to Peacock and Disney Plus. I'm going broke. The amount of money that I spend on streaming services. But I like the choice and I like to sit on my butt on the couch. I'm a couch potato. I pee a lot, in case you haven't guessed it, listening to this show. And I like to put it on pause. You can't put a movie on pause in the movie theater. So I'm one of many, yet uh, the uh, latest uh, film, Spider-Man movie, earned more than $800 million at domestic box office. Someone's going to the movies half a dozen times to see the, uh, the same movie. And then... Let's look at uh, the companies that manufacture paper towels, toilet paper, flour, spices, Clorox. Remember that story? Well, they went crazy during the pandemic, added additional manufacturing, added distributors. So you think that's all disappeared? It's going to be fun. The people still use the same amount of toilet paper, and they just don't put it, uh, they just don't do cost versions and show up closets of it like I do. So they're doing fine. They just have to anticipate, and they did. The pandemic is going to be over. And I'll tell you a, a winning company that I just don't understand. I'm going to end with this. Uh, the company that is doing okay, that you never would have guessed was doing okay, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt in 2020, and now they come back with a war, even with their horrible people. Chuck E. Cheese parties are up. And it's a choice. You either go to federal prison or you go to Chuck E. Cheese's, I would choose prison. And because people want parties, because they don't want to cook at home, because you can go to parties, the kids love Chuck E. Cheese's for some strange, bizarre reason. But the bottom line is companies and habits that we thought would disappear uh, are not. Uh, even commercial space, commercial office space, the jury is still out on that. With everything that's going on. I mean, those figures. Right now, pay 
Slater on TikTok. Oh, there's a story. Let's check in with Chris Little live from the KFI 24 hour news. All right, Bill, heavy fighting is raging at the steel plant in Mariupol as Russian forces attempt to finish off the city's last ditch defenders and complete the capture of the strategically vital port. Some small businesses are still struggling to hire qualified workers, even as the broader picture in the U.S. job market looks much brighter. Los Angeles County Public Health Director says she does sympathize with people wary of and talking against COVID-19, but the case number is still rising and new variants coming up. She says it would be a mistake to drop all the confidence. Yes, Today, highs in the mid-70s at the weekend, the 80s and 90s inland. This is where it brought you guys. Here's where let's check out the 710. Yes, sir, we'll do it. Well, yeah, it's coming to the marine layer. It's coming to the top. It's pretty tough here. But 710 now, long as you have to use the light, it's kind of a normal drop.